driver, crank it. Affirmative. Gunner, scan for target. Affirmative. Ammo up. Loader, ready up. Up. Driver, move out. Hello, my name is Jurgen, and welcome back to Armored Warfare. We interrupt the scheduled programming to bring you news and a tips and tricks video that I entered for this competition actually got recognized and put at number five, which I'm very surprised to see. Of course, there were other great people, including Gregor here, he came first, and he did a very similar idea to mine, but he was a bit more concise, and you should go see his videos. And Retro Gaming HD, all of these people on here, if you're a German speaker, you should go and see Fash. There's my video. We had uh, Intubescence, Reach for Sky, Kashi, Zink, uh, Zinx, and Togrim, who you may have recognised from other games as well. But yeah, that's all really. I'm really proud that my video actually got recognised, and quite a lot of views for that um, because of that recognition. And I think a few of you have come over to the channel and stayed with us due to that video, so thank you very much. I think I'll probably make a few more of those in the future. And now back to your scheduled programming. Today I am playing the M60A3 Ice, a premium reskin of the tier 5 American MPT, the M60A3. Or the vehicle, <laughs> it shares the same name with anyway. And as you can see it looks pretty nice, it has a very nice decal on it, a couple of polar bears, you know it's camo, arctic camo, in the middle of a green, uh, you know, airfield environment. Well, the airfield map, it's not an environment <laughs> named after it, the airfield. Uh, so, so, what I'm trying to get at is basically the camera looks a bit out of place, but the vehicle, it is probably ridiculous, um, in my opinion, because of how I've set it up. And I don't know if they're going to intend to change this or not, but here it goes as follows. The vehicle is tier 5 and I'm the only tier 5 in this entire matchmaking. It's something that the premiums seem to get. The premiums seem to get not premium matchmaking in terms of they can't see up to tier 6s. But, because they can. But they seem to get a lot of games where they are top of the team and the only tier 5. Unless there is another ice vehicle playing like a T-72 of the same tier. Um, the vehicle therefore has more health than the majority of the enemy team. Um, its reload with the equipment I've got is also ridiculous. I have the upgrade for the reload time of 6% decrease and I also have the commander uh, Freya who has very good abilities for main battle tanks so one of them is a reduced reload time or improve, uh, improve rate of fire, which therefore reduces your reload time. And all of these factors combined therefore mean I reload a shot from this 105mm gun every 4.99 seconds. Every 5 seconds I can fire a shot in this thing. And if I need to reload to heat, it reloads even faster. Because ammo swap is... Uh, there's a perk with Freya where you swap your ammo uh, in 3.9 seconds. So, <laughs> the gun, however, you do need to aim it, of course. Um, trying to fire on the move whilst reversing is not the ideal thing. As you can see, that's the first damaging shot we've taken from the AMX 10P90. And he also has a very good crew, it would seem, because he's reloading in about 3 seconds. Uh, I do like the AMX 10P90. Comment maybe if you want to see that gameplay. Uh, it's a very good tier 4 premium. Now, the hit registration in the game is a little bit off. You can't actually hit anyone who hasn't got a red outline. And that is what a heat round can do to those AMX 10Ps. And if I don't miss, he's going to die. Now, there we go. <laughs> 2,000 damage done, and this is just a rampant um, destruction, really. I've pushed through this western flank by myself pretty much. The LAVs and the OF-40 and the BMD are all behind me. In fact, they're all on the airfield and I've just pushed all the way up here and taken two of the kills for myself. Of course, I did leave the flank open and the M60 doesn't have very good side armor. Its frontal armor is very good at its tier, 
It can bounce some tier 6 shells, the ERA plates are good at A, absorbing heat rounds, and B, absorbing some kinetic rounds, AP rounds, from lower tiers. And therefore, your vehicle is generally quite durable for the tier. And I just free shot killed that guy in under 15 seconds. So, he was on full health, and he's gone. And he's only tier 4, and he's a quite good tank destroyer. It's not my favourite tank destroyer. You've may have seen the video I put up of the LAV-300. Um, some people in the community about these ICE vehicles, they have not really liked the fact that they've been added to the game because they are premium normal vehicles as it were, they're just a reskin. Uh, I understand why that is a concern, I, I do agree. If that's what they're going to do in the future, that's a terrible idea. Um, and as you can see, this vehicle is very, very strong and can be strong immediately to those who buy it because you get a tier 5 crew who can you know you can get all the skills for each of the uh, crew members two skills each and then if you have a tier 5 commander like Freya uh, my commander then you have a really really strong vehicle especially in this kind of matchup you see I fired 11 shots, 3200 damage done, there's a swing fire and an AMX 10p90 left. Swing fire is not a good vehicle in my opinion. It's not very easy to play, there he goes, the accuracy is quite good if you aim it and the ERA at the front is just absorbing the fire. Even though half the ERA has been blown off, that was very close, the <laughs> AMX 10p there you can see he wasn't very happy with that. But if you're going to stand still, it's inevitable even in a vehicle which isn't quite as buffed as this. I feel the vehicles are quite, quite good. <laughs> uh, I'm actually enjoying the Leopard 2AV, even though I didn't think the Leopard 2AV was that good. Um, again, if you want to see some gameplay of a different vehicle, I will potentially have that vehicle unlocked and in my garage. In fact, after this replay, and there you go, 4,739 experience, top on the team on damage, kills extreme amount more damage compared to everyone else in the entire match, and that's unsurprising because this is a tier 5. Uh, we also earned a good amount of money. 300,000 credits, in fact. So, let's take a look in the garage for all the vehicles I have in the game. So here we are in the garage. As you can see, here's the M60A3 ICE that you just saw. It is a very nice looking machine, as are all of the ICE vehicles. There's the T72, the Le uh, Leopard T, T Leopard 2AV, which is a good machine, as I said, but you know there are glaring weaknesses, lower plate. Uh, but the turret is very, very strong. And the upper plate, you can't pen, as uh, the angle would dictate that. Um, possibly shooting down on it, but I doubt that as well. Anyhow, I just wanted to pop into the garage just to show you what I've got unlocked and what I have to purchase. Um, if you wanted to see a specific gameplay, then you can take a look here, pause the video now, and this is what I have for the Wolfie uh, texture. All the tier, well, one tier one, obviously, the, both of the tier twos, all of the tier threes, tier fours, tier fives and three of the tier sixes and I have all of the other tier sixes unlocked but no money for them and the M1 Abrams um, but I haven't got any of these vehicles down here and I'm working on the LAV and the Centauro 120. Additionally we have over here the same sort of deal all of the vehicles up to tier five and I've unlocked the, all the tier sixes but I don't have enough money for the Bradley or the Stingray and I have the T80, the Challenger 1, and more importantly, the T19 Arete. You may want to see some gameplay of the higher tiers. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and again, take a pause here if you want to see anything in particular. The lower tiers are always fun to play, as are the higher tiers. Except when you get hit by <laughs> Paladin artillery all the time. Paladin is unlocked, but no funds uh, exist for it at the moment. So, anyway... Tell me your thoughts, tell me what you want to see, uh, vote down below. Uh, if you see someone who's put a comment uh, of a tank that you want to see, then put a 
uh, upvote for it, or alternatively, you can put your own comment, but uh, it's up to you. That was the M68 free. Tell me what you think about the ice packages as well. I am not too fussed about them. They are premium vehicles of normal vehicles, as you can see. There's the M60, uh, the normal version, but they get the premium benefits, obviously, of 1.25 times credits. And also, they make a lot of free XP, especially, well, there was a 200% bonus going on, but not anymore. Hence why I have, or have had, quite a lot of free experience. Um, but yeah, I don't really see a huge controversy over it. It's up to the player who wants to buy it. But, at the same time, this vehicle is very, very strong with the 5 second reload. And because of its preferential, in quotations, or in air brackets, the matchmaking it gets, uh, where it's tier 5 versus all different tier 4s on the enemy team. Maybe that's just the fault of the matchmaker. Maybe that was not intentional. Uh, if anyone from Marvel Warfare watches this, uh, which they may or may not, then you will be able to tell me. Uh, but as always, I'm going to stop there. I've been Jujin, this has been Armored Warfare, and I'll see you chaps and chapettes in the next one.